Salty Zeta here, and I've been chilling out and grooving to this music for the past four and a half minutes while I waited for Audacity to finish exporting the previous audio. Anyways, let's get on in to Mare Desert, and let's play Spark the Electric Jester. The first level that I have not exp- ooh. Alright, you know what? Hammer's been a bit overpowered for bosses. Let's try and cut back on it a little bit. And just go for a nice little sandboarding. Wee. Nah, I already got wind, thank you. Um Oh. This that's like the Sonic Unleash things. Wow, that was really cool. I wonder how I wonder how many flips I just did. Ow. You know, I like the robot design in this game. I like how like it all kind of has like a consistent feel to it. Like, they all have very similar design elements to them, and I like that. This, you know, I never actually mentioned, but when we first get bored in that one area of the... The... The coast level? I don't remember the name of it. I remember when I first got the board, I thought it was just like a un a special thing right in that exact moment. And the, I remember really loving just my realization of like, Wait, this is just another regular power-up! Power fluted semi boosted double jump. Huh. Interesting. That's neat. God, this this level's got neat gimmicks. Actually I'm gonna try going up. Oh, okay. I don't know, that the fact that it was just in the exact corner felt a little suspicious to me. I'm enjoying this level so far. Ooh, now it's getting it to be a sandstorm. I love doing this! This is just so cool! Am I in a secret area or something? I was expecting the level to be over. Oh, that's why it just stopped. So that was a three minute first section. Ooh, I like this background. God, this is just cool. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. I wouldn't expect to like a desert level so much, but this is just fun, like... God, Spark is a good game. It has flaws, but it has it's such a good game regardless. And that's a giant pillar in my face. Damn it. I knew it wouldn't wor work forever, but I wanted to keep trying and see how long it I could get that to work, just mashing the button. Wow, that was fast. What just happened? <laughs> I love this! This is cool, though! It's so speedy, like... It really is a good combination so far of all those elements that make, everyone says, makes Sonic good. Like, speed, platforming, exploration, like, this level has all of that. It's got the cool exploration of, like, going around and finding cool stuff. With... It's got the cool platforming with, like, the double jump thing. And it's got a lot of speed! It's just really cool. That's another pill in my face. No, I want to go up there. Oh well. Doo -doo. Also, something I really like so far. I just no noticed that. There's no instant death pits. Like, I can just go ahead and mess around with uh, going as fast as I can. Jumping ha across half the map. I don't have to worry about anything like that. That is a really nice touch, actually, because it makes the whole experience feel a lot more like... A lot more fun, like, when you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. 
and there's also no lives, so it's like, just got, it's just a nice combination of all those kinds of elements that, like, make it fun. Oh, this is a guy who exists. And now he's dead. You can basically stay in the air forever by doing that, if you do it at the right rhythm. Also, this music is great. I love it. God, this game is just so much fun. I enjoy this game a lot. I'm really glad that I'm finally going... Oh, these aren't controlled by me. I'm really glad that I'm finally going ahead and, like, actually... ...bothering to finish this game. Because... It deserves to be finished! This is a good game! I'm thoroughly enjoying it! Every element of the game just seems to work so well! Mare Base! I hope it's not pronounced Mare or something, because that would be kind of weird and silly. Especially since there is a word that in the, in the English language that is Mare. Although that refers to horses. So, I don't see any horses. Maybe the boss is gonna be a horse. Is that an umbrella? Why is there an umbrella here? Oh! It's a fountain! Okay, okay. This thing launches me automatically, I can stop jumping! <laughs> I'm bad at things. I really like this though, and this theming is neat too. It's like, yeah, it's a desert, but it also, it also it has the fun like, interesting oil mechanics. Like, how often do you see an oil mechanic that's actually beneficial to you? Think about that. And it's got this cool sandstorm aesthetic. Like, I really like this. This level also feels very built for the board. I guess the only thing that's kind of weird are these... ...go in a particular direction... ...things. Okay. Stop. Like, they're mainly annoying because, well, uh, sections like this where it's just showing off, but also, they do kind of slow the pace down a little. In a level that otherwise has a really good pace. So yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say those stoppy things are the best, but, I don't know. Yeah, see, you can just stay in the air forever if you really want to. At least, until you hit a wall. Oh, I just beat the level. There isn't even a boss? Interesting. Well, that was a fun level. I really enjoyed that. Okay, sorry about that. I had to wait for the phone to stop ringing. Anyways, I can just cut cut it out for you guys, so... Finally, it's you! Yeah. Hmm. It's me, I guess. You're the electric jester that is spoiling all of my plans! Huh? The siege on FM City and the attack on the Ethelair Tower? You! You ruined them all! No, I didn't. Ellipses. What? My problem is with Fark. Look, I don't like what you guys are doing with this taking over the world thing. I don't know what can be done about it. Maybe this is just how things are going to be from now on. Ellipses. So, you're the leader, I suppose? Whatever that means. Yes, that's right! Your journey ends here, right now! Jester! Ellipses. You don't believe me, do you? Nope. Well, you will die soon. Eh, I heard that yesterday. You're really pissing me off. Just die!
Okay, so there's a boss is just after the level. Okay, let's not be bored during the battle. Hey, this guy doesn't have a bo health bar. That's rude. How am I supposed to know how good I'm doing against Prototype? He's Proto Man! <laughs> Did he just kill himself? I think... I think someone else killed him. Luna Base. I have 84... Why do I have 84 milliseconds on the timer? Hi, buddy. I want you to know. What did you think you were doing by pretending to be me? Ah! I wasn't pretending to be you. But I don't know what you mean. I just want to protect the computer. I was made for that. That's my single purpose. Please don't. Very well. Also. Jester. Don't you dare get near the computer. Do as the other Jester says and give up. If you don't, I will kill you. I have no idea who that guy is or what just happened. But judging from the whole, how dare you pretend you were me, I'm guessing he's the actual leader of the whatever. Oh, level well, actually has begun now. Um, I'll take Archer because I don't know how... Ne Why do I have five? I thought I only had three. Is this a more powerful archer? Maybe. Anyways, I'm just not sure how necessarily how much helpful board is going to be, because while it's a fun ability, it's definitely not always the most... It's definitely a bit more situational. That's lava! I am flying. Over. Anyways, I just started seeing that because of lava and small brick platforms and just remind me of Marble Zone. I don't know. These are... This is interesting and unexpected gimmicks. I'll say that much. Ow! Photopoose. Like, these things remind me of Super Meat Boy, actually. Sliding up conveyor belts on the wall. They're definitely a Super Meat Boy thing. Oh, I remember this song from the soundtrack now. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't really like the cool gestures, so. I'm gonna avoid him. He's probably my least favorite. Okay, so attacking gets rid of your green. Interesting. Ow. Help me. <laughs> Alright. Do 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 do. You know, I guess the weird thing about the loops in this game that this game has. Back in the classic Sonic days, the loops were a semblance of like skill. You had to make sure that you had the momentum to carry it over. That was how they worked in Sonic 1. In Sonic 2, uh, they were mainly used actually a lot less than you might have expected. And often happened early on just to kind of, if nothing else, be the same thing that they were in Sonic 1. Or also showcase how the spin dash worked if you want to try that. Seeing how the loops are being used here just kind of feels a bit weird to me, admittedly, because it's like... Ow. 
I don't like how that's timed up that you can't just run through it. But like, seeing how they're being used here just feels a tiny bit weird. Because it's like, we keep seeing loops and they're really... M because of the dash system that the game outright tells you about and the weird sense of momentum that this game tends to have, loop ne loops necessarily don't really seem to mean anything. They're just kind of neat little visual spectacles, I guess, that exist. Why does the... I just had over a minute on my timer. Why am I at... What? I know I just had a minute over there because I was thinking to myself, wait, I've only been on this level for a minute? That doesn't sound right. There's something going on. Is it like touching the green goop? I don't know. It's not like the level's been resetting. Hold on, let me touch the green goop and pay attention to the timer. Now I'm curious. Touching the save point? That's never happened before! Is that something to do with how the level begins? Because this was like one of the first levels that begins like with, with, with a weird cutscene that you walk into. Maybe that's just some weird quirk with how that got programmed. Because yeah, that's never happened before. I can, can guarantee that much. I would have noticed it far sooner if that happened every single time you touched the save point. Also, maybe you should... Maybe I should dash to kind of get through those sections that I'm like... I want to be able to... Oh well. I'll never know how much time I'm spending in this level, unfortunately, but... Doesn't really matter. Do 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 Ow, that's actually lava. Okay. Wasn't quite sure. Alright, maybe then I'll now I'm in like a separate section it will like treat health tr treat this not health. Treat the timer like normal. I have a fire shield now. Take that, Sonic. I like this combination of red and green. I'm enjoying this level, though. And yeah, see, I, I am having a lot of new things to talk about by not knowing what's coming. Is something going on? Oh, I guess it's just this stuff. Does the shield itself actually run out at any point? Or do I need to, like, get hit? And it's just trying to... Okay, let's find out. Yeah, okay. That had to have been, like, an error with how, like... Just that segment got programmed. I feel like the, either I feel like the shield has to be on a timer. I don't think that they would keep giving it to you if it wasn't on a timer. Considering that there's no enemies and no possible way of getting hurt, it has to be on a timer of some sort. Yeah, you can see it was just flashing, actually. Alright, so that's good to know. It's on a timer. It's not just permanent health. It's neat. I like this level. It's got neat gimmicks. It 
does last a long a while after it starts flashing though. I'm afraid that being inside this lava is actually going to kill you if the shield runs out. I'm not sure though, because it just does it just did regular damage earlier. So I don't know if it would necessarily immediately kill you. Go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Just barely made it. Actually, no, I made it quite easily, actually. This is a weird but neat gimmick. Is this a chase from lava right now? Is lava chasing me? I feel like with how the screen is shaking, that's a yes, but I haven't seen any. So I'm also suspicious. I didn't see a single bit of lava there. But that was a cool, fun level. I enjoyed that. That was neat. Okay. Um... You know what? Before I go into whatever this weird green stuff is, probably just more of the floaty stuff, I'm gonna end the episode because it's been about 20 minutes. So, next time on Let's Play Spark the Electric Jester, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep going and see what the world has to offer to us.